Okay, now here we're looking at page 293, number 8a, where we are trying to prove that the tangent of x is equal to cosecant of 2x minus cotan of 2x, regardless of what those x's are. So to prove that, we have to work with the left-hand side or the right-hand side. I deem the right-hand side to look a bit, bit more onerous, so I'm going to rely on that one and mess around with it for a while and see what happens. Well, one of the rules that we want to deal with is on one side here, I see that I have tangent of x, and on the other side, I see that the arguments are two x's. Also, I see tan x here and sine and cosine. So when I look at my cosecant and cotan, I want to look at relations for those. Cosecant is 1 over sine, and cotan, which isn't that one, is cos over sine. So I'm going to use those two relations, and I'm going to rewrite what I have here on the right-hand side. So left-hand side is still tan x. Right-hand side is cosecant, which is 1 over sine of 2x. And cotan of 2x is going to be cos 2x divide by sine 2x. Now I see a common denominator here on the left-hand side, so I'm going and everything is locking up. We'll try this again, see how it records. We have 1 minus cos 2x divide by sine of 2x. And I have tan of x on the left-hand side, and that will continue to be that way for quite some time. Now, cosine of 2x is any one of these three relations. So just the cosine of 2x, I'm going to change into one of these three relations. For no real reason, I'll choose the 1 minus 2 sine squared, just because I see a sine in the bottom, and something magic might just happen there. So we'll move him over, and we will take 1 minus cos of 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared of x, not 2x anymore. We will divide that by sine of 2x. But now, before I write sine of 2x, I think I'd like to rewrite what sine of 2x is. You can always write sine of twice any angle as 2 times the sine and the cos of the single angle. So we'll rewrite that as 2 sine of x times the cosine of x. Okay, so now we've only got x's instead of 2x's, so it's starting to look a little bit prettier, I guess. What can we do from here? We have some algebraic manipulation to go into. This negative goes on to each of the terms in the brackets. So you have 1 subtract 1, which makes 0, and that would leave a negative, and negative 2 makes a positive 2 sine squared in the numerator. And in the denominator, you have 2 sine of x, cos of x. If I cancel out, again, remember this whole thing is equal to tan of x. I can cancel out a 2. This is uh, two sines multiplied together, the sine squared. So one of the sines in the numerator and the sine in the denominator also divides to give 1. So that leaves on the left hand or the right hand side sine of x over cosine of x is equal to tangent. And as we well know, the tangent of x is sine over cos. So I can rewrite sine of x over cos of x as the tangent. And now we have made the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. We have solved that which we intended to solve.